Hi. I'm from the United States, uh, Hood River, Oregon specifically. I am also from the United States, Rhode Island, which is a very, very small state, kind of near Boston. The first day of school. We got pointed out as the only two Americans. It was an automatic uh, connection. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sports industry management at EM Lyon. Marketing, analysis. Pretty much a basic management course focused on what the sports industry is and what, will, what it will be. I studied French. <laughs> it's my first year in business and it's pretty difficult to start but you get the hang of it pretty quickly. Um, but I can't say the same thing for no, John. I, <laughs> I, I studied entrepreneurship in my undergraduate. Yeah, I did my undergraduate at the American University of Paris. I knew I wanted to do a master's in Europe, and I knew I wanted to work in sports. So I did look at a few different schools, and in the end, I'd lived in France for a few years beforehand, and I knew I wanted to be back. And I knew I wanted to have a career in sports in Europe, so it seemed like the natural t transition to do a master's in sports in Paris. They're great. Yeah, they come from all over the world. We see different cultures every day up here, which is nice. We have some from China, a lot of French. We have uh, Russian. They're all friendly, all very outgoing people. You want to have them in your life. Ooh, that's a tough question. <laughs> okay, it wasn't much of a surprise, but the extent of how different the person-to-person -person relations are between the cultures. When speaking to a French person, it seems like there's certain formalities that you must follow just to begin to get an actual information and content, yeah. whereas an American, you can just dive in. Yeah, you and have to dig deep with the French. The French, you have to really crack <laughs> to get into the, the soft core. I could barely know John and I could give him a hug as an American and be totally open and fine with it, but it might not be the same for It'd be very different, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we are equal on this one. <laughs> the bread, the cheese, and the wine. Yeah, the <laughs> I'm aiming for uh, event management uh, within the sports industry. I'm also open to human resources, one of the two. It's a daunting question, but I think the big idea and maybe the biggest goal would be to be a part of a, a soccer football league in North America. Start in Europe and then go back to North America. Definitely talk to the ambassadors. They're easy to access online. Uh, they can definitely tell you everything you need to know from day-to-day -day lifestyles. And otherwise, social media is huge. We try to tell our story on Twitter at least every day. I think I see a story. Be open. It's definitely um, a culture shock, and it definitely can be scary. Mm -hmm. You know, like we said, you have to kind of crack the, the French mold to really feel like you're part of mm -hmm. the, a culture and part of a, something bigger than yourself. Mm -hmm. 